this is the last video that will cover the customer side of QuickBooks Online. After this video, we're going to move into the supplier side of QuickBooks Online. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create customer statements. It's very easy, very basic, just like previous videos in this course. So we have example customer one. In the previous video, I made a number of payments against invoices on this customer's account. And you can see we have a nice full activity now where we have invoices showing and payments showing. If we wanted to send this customer a statement to show the activity on their account, then we simply go to new transaction at the top here. We've gone here previously to add invoices. But this time we're going to go to statement and create a statement. So I click on statement. We can then create a statement. We basically enter the dates we want. The statement date's going to be today. It's very unlikely that you're going to need to change the statement date. This is the date the statement is run, produced, raised. It's always going to be today's date, and today's date is the default. Now we have a start date and an end date of the statement. You can modify this. What this does is just bring invoices and payments up on the statement that are between these dates. So if we wanted a statement just to show November's invoices and payments, we would simply put the 1st November to the 30th of November. But let's leave it as it is. When we're ready, we can click print or preview and we can simply look at our statement here and we can print this off and post it to our customer or download it and email it. It will download as a PDF just like all the other reports do and documents do on QuickBooks Online. So this is our statement. If I zoom out, you can see we have the logo. We have the activity on this customer's account, the customer's details. It's all created for you. All of this information is grabbed either from account and settings, which we went through in the beginning of this course, or from the customer's account. So if something isn't quite right, you need to go to account and settings or the customer's account and edit the information. And you can see here on the statement, we have our invoices that we raised. We also have all those payments that we recorded. So that's the basics of customer statements. As mentioned, that's it for customers now. Let's move into the supplier side of things. If you have any questions, leave something in the comments section below. Please like, please subscribe, please check out my website for lots more free content. But this course will now continue with the supplier side of things. Thank you so much for watching.